Hey everyone, we're here with the Area Mira, and today we're going to test out something that I have not seen that there's an example of on YouTube. We're going to test out the noise reduction on this camera. Um, I imagine most people won't use it, most people will have enough light in most situations, but in some cases it might be useful, and I'm going to show you on this video how it affects the video quality and the sharpness. For this test, I'm going to keep it at 800, which is the base ISO, and I'm going to keep it on the Airy 709 look. And I'm recording at ProRes 422 in 4K on this camera and as well as that, so I'm going to keep the whole timeline in 4K. Alright, so here's clip one. Make sure it's exposed correctly. It's been getting a little bit darker, it's the evening, it's golden hour, so I'm going to adjust the um, aperture accordingly. Right now I'm at f2.8, and I've got the ND at 1.2. All right, that looks good. All right, so I'll record this for 10 seconds. This is with the noise reduction off, not on anyway. And when I turn it on, I'm gonna turn it on to level high so you can actually see the difference as best you can. And I'm also gonna do a test when it's darker so you actually raise the ISO to 3200. You'll see how it works at 3200 when it's a bit darker outside. So I go into the sensor mode, noise reduction on strong. So I'm going to go back and press record, still at 800 ISO, the base ISO, and recording. And this is all in 4K. And I'll also put them side to side as well. Now it's gotten a little bit darker. You see I'm exposing to see all the detail in the clouds, but there is a lot of shadow detail, darker details, those plants, the fence, and you should be able to see some noise in there. Right now I have the noise reduction off. And now the noise reduction is on strong. Sorry about the planes. And we're still on 800 ISO, the base ISO. And I'll put them side by side. And I forgot to mention the ND right now is still at 0.6. The next test will be at base ISO. It'll be a little bit darker and there'll be no ND on there. Then after that is when we're gonna start cranking up the ISO because it'll get dark pretty quickly. And here's another angle, still at 0.6 ND, no noise reduction, and just a little bit like more of a darker scene, so you can see how the shadows look in that situation. And here's the same scene with noise reduction strong. So that sunset turned into a dud, but here we are. It's a bit darker now, and I've got all the NDs off, and I thought we were gonna have more of a red sky right now, but it didn't happen. So here we are, 800 ISO, F2.8, and, and no NDs. And I've also switched over to 7,000 Kelvin white balance. This is noise reduction off. reduction strong and I'm doing this pretty fast right next to each other because the light's changing very quickly and I want to match it as well as possible. All right, so now it is definitely dusking here. I've got the Sony A7S II on 8000 ISO. That one doesn't have an f2.8 lens. It's on 5.6 right now because it's zoomed in. This one has a 2.8 lens, so it's at f2.8. And now we're at 1600 ISO and no NDs. 
And here's how it looks with no noise reduction. Okay, now we'll switch it to noise reduction, strong. You can see the difference. All right, A7S, hold on. 12,800 ISO over there. And here, we just pointed it the other way. It's gotten a little darker. And still at 1,600 ISO. And we're pointing it at an area where the trees are way more in the shadows. It's darker, but you can still have that light over there so you can see how the light reacts. And this is with no noise reduction. on strong, still here at 1600 ISO. I, by all means, would prefer not to shoot at 1600 ISO with this camera because you can see it's starting to get a little bit noisy. And with the noise reduction, maybe a little bit mushy. Okay, so this should be one of the last shots. The A7S III is at like 25,000 ISO. It's way up there. Um, this area mirror is on 3,200 ISO, an ISO I would never shoot on on this camera. And you'll see why here. Right now we're shooting at 3,200 ISO with no noise reduction. And here's noise reduction on strong. 3200 ISO. Now after I looked at other footage that I've done with noise reduction, just testing it out, I saw that it actually does a pretty good job of clearing up the image. It doesn't fully take, it doesn't fully take away everything, but it clears up the image decently, but it does make it softer. You can notice it's softer. So if you're going to show this on a big, huge screen, if it's for a cinema production, if it's for a very high price commercial, you're not going to use it. You're not going to shoot at 3200 ISO and put noise reduction on it to fix it, but maybe for smaller projects, it'll be acceptable. Things that will go on YouTube or so on, it won't be in a format bigger than that. But that should be as dark as we're gonna go with this camera that was testing the noise reduction on the area mirror and how it looks in various different settings. Thank you for watching, and I hope you press like and subscribe. There's no more light.